YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, today my garage is doubling as a sugar shack because it's been raining for the last couple of days and I had about 14 gallons of maple syrup there that had to cook down. Uh, basically, uh, I've got a couple maple trees tapped. I just run out with my five gallon buckets, or actually those are seven and a half gallon buckets. Dump my sap in there and I'm just using a propane burner here to cook stuff down. And uh, I gotta get up to 219 degrees and right now I am at about 215. Anyway, while I'm waiting on that, I have a quick little project for a buddy here I gotta get done. Uh, basically, he is a sales rep for some brake linings for semis and needed a display slack adjuster. If you've never messed with this, this is a uh, slack adjuster off of an air brake set up on a um, semi. Anyway, so what he wants me to do is just machine this part out here so you can see what's inside there. Apparently there's some uh, one-way teeth in there and uh, whatnot and just needs to be able to demonstrate that in a class. But it looks like to get this guy apart, there is a roll pin right there and right there I gotta get out of there. So then I should be able to unscrew this and just slide this whole arrangement out of there. So I'm just gonna throw this crap in the mill and machine out those little roll pins. So I think what I'm going to do is just cut a little notch out right from between kind of here and here. So we'll see how that goes. I got a half inch end mill in there and um, yeah, hopefully it'll work out okay. This guy is a little bit different than the other one that we looked at. So this rod here that comes in right here covers up the little one-way teeth that we were wanting to show. So I think what I'm going to do is pop a little hatch here in the other side here so you can kind of see how it works from both ends. So they get a little better idea of how this thing actually works. Anyway, I'm going to chunk it back in the mill here and get going.
right, YouTubes. Well, I'm pretty pleased with the way this got turned out. You can see down in there. You've got your ratchet teeth there. And this guy moves. And you can see the ratcheting teeth go past one another. I'm pretty excited the way that turned out. Right there. you got the ratchet teeth on the left. you got those friction splines on the other side. And you can totally see how this works. Got the worm gear in there, and then this shaft goes down there and actuates that ratchet gear. So, pretty excited. I am thrilled with the way this guy turned out. Like I said, there, I'm sure he will be very pleased with this. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Please check back to the channel here, and as always, thank you for watching and have a good weekend.